Hey friends, Isaac here. It's Tuesday, April 12th. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Kevin is a best-selling author, international speaker, and global brand publisher. He's the founder and executive director of Global Hope India and the CEO of Spirit Media. As a serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of churches, businesses, and nonprofits throughout the world. Put your hands together and let's welcome my friend and yours, Kevin White, to today's show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the show. I am so excited to have one of my friends, a sister in the Lord, Jen, with me today. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Well, we're going to flip the table. I'm not going to get to interview you today. You're going to get to interview me. And I am so grateful to have you with me today because it would be very boring if I just sat here and told people about the Writers Club. You have some questions that you've come up with that you want to dive into on today's episode. So I'm going to turn it over to Jen. Take it away. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me, Kevin. I just wanted to learn a lot more information about it. I've heard you talk about it and it seems pretty exciting of an opportunity. So I just had some questions that I was hoping we could, you know, unpack today. Yeah. So my first question would be, tell me about the Writers Club. What's this club that you're starting? Yeah. Well, great. Thank you for asking. Well, the the club is a subscription-based club. It allows everyone in the club that has a membership to join a 30 minute a week Zoom call. Now, we're probably tired of Zoom at this moment. We've had years of being shut in and being on Zoom, but this allows writers from really all over the country and all over the world to come together into small groups. And it's only 30 minutes, but it's a jab a week where we will dive in to writing and it provides structure and accountability. I'll be sharing every week a coaching tip, uh, something that I've learned about writing that kept me writing. We don't want the people in the club to face writer's block where they go a week, two weeks, a month without really knowing what to write next. And so we began by walking everyone in the club through a toolkit that I have prepared that helps you to outline your book. So every week we have a tip, a writing tip that will inspire creativity and help you to know what to write next during that coming week. We also have some accountability that Zoom call itself is a form of accountability. The thing that really helped me as a writer to begin to write was making a commitment to write a little every day. You know, we don't necessarily think that we can stop our full-time job and go write a book. That would be very challenging, if not impossible. And you can't stop parenting and go write a book. You can't stop life and go write a book. And the, the days of taking a sabbatical, maybe you're a professional and maybe you've heard of how people after 10 years of tenure, they would get a sabbatical and then write a book. Well, those days are becoming far and few and in between, if not over. And so we want to find pockets during our day. For me, the best pocket of time was 6 a.m. Now, don't turn me out. Don't, <laughs> don't cancel the episode just yet. I'm not going to be requiring everyone in the club to start writing at 6 a.m. I'm a morning person. Some people are not. But you can find a, t- a set time every day where, where you're going to write. It may be at 9.30 at night. It could be at 3 in the afternoon. It might be over your lunch break from at 12.30 to 1. But you will spend some time writing every day. We'll have some accountability and some structure. And then at the very end of every call, I'm going to be inviting everyone who would like to remain for prayer. My inspiration really came in me daily just asking God to write through me. And that's foreign to a lot of writers that I meet. It's intimidating to begin to think of yourself being a writer. And then on top of that, to be thinking of how you're going to practice your faith 
through writing and really allow the Holy Spirit to begin to write through you. It doesn't necessarily click just like that. It's not like a light bulb moment for everyone, but gradually you can begin to sense, you know, a week went by and I had things to write. I, I really think God's inspiring me. Two weeks went by. Wow, a month went by and I have been writing. And you begin looking back and seeing that the Holy Spirit is empowering you to write and you know what to put in chapter three. And then all of a sudden you've got chapter four and it just begins to happen over a three, four, five, six month process that you really begin to sense Almighty God empowering you as you're writing. And so we will end every single week with a very specific prayer for everyone in the club. And, and that's really where my heart is as a writing coach. And so this is a writing club unlike anything you will ever find anywhere else. And I'm very excited to invite everyone to be a part of the writing club with Kevin White. That sounds awesome, Kevin. And I'll tell you what's most appealing to me is like just hearing you say, listen, it's just a one day at a pro one day at a time process, mm -hmm. just a little bit each day. And just even how that's really how our walk with Christ is. We're supposed to focus on one day at a time and allow him to continue to provide and care for us and in all, all the many facets, but even in this way, allowing him to day by day, give you those nuggets that he wants you to put down on paper. So I think that's, that really kind of could make someone feel like, hey, I could do this. Like, and it's not so overwhelming. I think Tell so us too. a little bit about how you decided to kind of, what kind of led you to, to this point to kind of start this club. Yeah. Well, so I have just finished writing my third book in three years. I'm so excited about that. You know, I entered college on academic probation for my English. <laughs> And I was not a good student in high school. I really begged my mom on a regular basis to let me drop out of school. I didn't see the point of it. And I lacked vision and purpose. And so when God got a hold of my life in my senior year of high school, he really got a hold of my life and began to just really impress upon me that he had a plan for my life. And so I accepted the call into the ministry and went to college. And I remember applying and having to go through the exam process. And I was enrolled on academic probation for my English. And I had to take a remedial English course my very first semester of college. And so writing has not been a something that came natural to me as a child. Reading was a chore to me. As I've grown in the Lord and as my faith has grown, so has my disciplines. And one of those is just really always valuing education, always wanting to learn and realizing that God is so big and we are so small and we really have the rest of our life to learn. And in doing so, he's really given me a passion now for writing and I just in the fall of 2019 began sensing God just urging me to give him his story through me. I gave him my life whenever I was 10. I was saved and baptized and then called whenever I was 17 into a full-time ministry. I've served the Lord for decades now. And it really wasn't until a few years ago that I really began sensing a stirring of God in my heart to begin to write. And it was so intimidating. And I made so many mistakes. And so I put together a PDF that's free to everyone uh, listening to the episode. It's entitled Seven Steps to Telling Your Story. And if I wish I would have had these seven steps whenever I first was sensing a call to write and a consideration of writing and then a commitment to write. And then I began allocating time to write and I began wondering, okay, what am I supposed to write? And uh, I wish I had these seven steps. I'm making them available. The, everyone can go to spiritmedia.us forward slash seven and take this free PDF and uh, see these seven steps. And it will really help you to know how to get started. Writing is like in everything else. Like if we were going to train for a 5K, 
We literally have to get up off the sofa and just put one foot in front of the other. And eventually we will run a 5K and we'll have a t-shirt and a medal to prove it. And the same thing is true of writing a book. You just start writing one word, one sentence, one paragraph, one page. Wow, one chapter. And you, and you just realize 10 chapters make a book. When you write, wrote your 10 chapters, you, you, Think of an introduction to tell people what you've written about and a conclusion to really wrap it all up at the end. And you actually have a rough draft of a manuscript and it takes a boatload of collaboration. I wish I would have known that because I felt like the weight of publishing a book that other people would love to read and it to be professional it to have good grammar, uh, all the periods to be where they were supposed to be, the commas to be used properly. All that weight fell on my shoulders. And then I realized, no, I am to collaborate with professional editors and proofreaders and graphic artists and so forth to really turn what God wants to do in me into a masterpiece that would be published to the nations. And now both of my first two books, my very first book I ever wrote was Audacious Generosity. And then my second book, both are international bestsellers. And it took a lot of collaboration to take them from good to great. And I would love to speed up that process for everyone in the Writers Club to really understand the power of collaboration. Wow, that's great, Kevin. I remember the night you shared with our group Hey, the Lord's leading me to do something. It's really intimidating, but I'm I'm going to take a step of faith and do this. And here you are, like two books later. I've read both of them, both amazing, very practical, spiritually practical books, hmm. but inspiring and encouraging to know that anybody can do it if they feel led. And this is, and they want to put their story to paper. I think it's a great, great opportunity. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer, for taking time to, to read both of my books. And I really appreciate your support and you asking these questions. And we're going to be back next week with more questions from Jennifer about the Writers Club. We'll see you back next week. Research shows 3 billion people still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Did you know that if 3 billion people formed a human chain, it would circle the Earth at the equator 75 times? One of those billion people far from God calls India home. Global Hope India has been empowering Christian churches throughout India as they provide access for all people to know about Jesus. Learn more at globalhopeindia.org. That's globalhopeindia.org. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Visit kevinwhite.us and join thousands of subscribers to Kevin's free daily one-minute motivation series called Generously Blessed. Generously Blessed. Kevin's books Audacious Generosity and Get to the Point are available in hardback, paperback, ebook, and audiobook at kevinwhite.us, worldwide on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and everywhere books are sold. Your five-star review on Amazon will be greatly appreciated. This has been Living the Dream with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favourite podcast player. And never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International Incorporated. All rights reserved. Each week, we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White. Living the Dream with Kevin White.